Hello everybody. Today we're going to try something we haven't done in a while. We have another thread up shoe box. So let's dig right into it. And welcome back. Um, so I noticed on my last couple of videos, I didn't do any kind of channel information. Um, so I'm gonna correct that mistake right now. I'm Charles, I run a closet on Poshmark along with my wife Angelique. Together we are the Deegans. Um, links to everything will be down below and I'm sure I will say this again at the end of the video. So with that out of the way, we can get right back to that high quality Deegans unboxing that you've come to expect. All right, like I said, this is a thread up shoe box. Now my wife did already look through this, but I had her package it up without showing me any of the shoes. So you'll be seeing these the same time I do. And this isn't gonna work. There we go. All right, our first shoes are a pair of heels. Um, I get, I don't, you know, I never know if that, if it has that thick heel, if that's technically a heel or a wedge. Um, but whatever it is, it is a cool way. That's. That's not going to show up, is it? There it is. It is a cool way um, wedged heel. No, this was. This was. Next. We have a pair of heels. Yeah, I think that says cool. C O O. I think that says L W. A Y, so cool way. Yeah. Um, I don't see a size on these. Um, looks. Oh, this there it is. It's a ten. Um, so size ten. Pair of cool ways. Um, very very cool. Way cool, you could say. All right. Moving right along with more bad puns and another pair of shoes. We have a pair of, what are these? Rag and Bone New York. Hmm. I know this brand, but I didn't know they made shoes. They're, they're pretty nice shoes actually. Yeah, these are what Ragged Bone's one of my wife's unicorns. Whenever we go thrifting, she always tells me to look for rag and bone pants, rag and bone jeans. And we have yet to find any of them, but we did get a pair of their shoes, so I guess um I guess that counts. I'll check it off the list. Moving right along, we have oh we have some more tissue paper. And we have a pair of Z Alexis. Alexis? Alexis. <laughs> Z Alexis. They are size 40. Um, they just. You see, I, I think that counts as a wedge. I do not know the difference between a wedge and a heel other than if it. I know if it goes all the way, it's a wedge, but I don't know when they have these weird divots. I don't know what that's called. Uh, but anyway, it's a size 40, so that's probably the European size. And they do have this cool pattern on the, uh, yeah, it's, it's another one of those optical illusion shoes where you stare at it long enough and a sailboat appears. And I think I've made that joke before, so I'm going to 
put these down while I figure out some new material. Okay, up next we have a pair of Michael Kors. I'm going to say heel. That's a heel. Uh, they are size 10. Uh, yep, there it is. They are size 10, as it shows somewhere on the bottom. And um, they are, you know, I always like to find the material, but I haven't seen material in any of these. They look like, it looks like leather. Um, I did recently find out that real leather will have imperfections in it. So looking at the toe um, right along there, those look like some imperfections. They're different on this. And so um, I think that might be real leather or they could just be scuffed up. Um, oh, wait. Does it say on the bottom? No, it doesn't. It just says that they're made in Italy. Real leather comes from a comes from a cow's hide, so you can't have perfections all the way across. Okay, up next we have a pair of Steve Maddens. I don't know if you can see it through all the uh, tassels. Those are pretty neat. I guess some. Um, these, I'm going to call these a pair of dancing heels because you just dance, woo, you would, your feet would put on quite a performance in these. Um, I don't see a size, oh wait, something right there, let's see if I can read that. They are a 10, so it seems like most of these shoes have been a 10. I wonder if that's uh, intentional or not. Um, well, I'll find out when I get to the uh, when I get to the label. All right, up next, these. I'll admit, my wife told me these were in here. Um, this could be the this could be the piece of the box. A pair of Tory Burch flats, size 10, like everything else. Um, the sole of these is leather, so at least leather on the bottom. Um, I'm assuming normally they have the materials somewhere in here, but oh, one of these shoes. Yeah, none of these shoes have told have had their materials listed on them. That's odd. Okay. Now we do have one more pair of shoes, uh, but they are not in the box because my wife took them out to measure them. Uh, because she's actually already listed um, most of these. So I just got to go grab them real quick. So we'll take a quick break. I'll be right back. I told you it was a quick break. Okay, um, this last pair of shoes that I guess... I don't know that you would call them shoes. They're boots. They are a pair of David Tate. And I do not... Yeah, you can kind of see that. They are a pair of David Tate boots. Now, com coming into winter, um, they... I'm sorry, I was just looking to see if there was any materials in there. Um, coming into winter, having a pair of boots to sell is going to be real, real nice. Um, they do zip up on the side. Um, oh, ah, yes, these are upper leather. So I guess all this upper part is leather. Uh, the balance is man-made. So 
maybe the balance is this part down here, the sole, or maybe just, maybe it's this part. Um, but anyway, that is a nice leather boot. And, and there are two of them. I don't know if I showed this second one or not. Uh, but these, these I think will do well. Um, I know my wife said that the, she felt that there was one pair of shoes in here that would cover the cost of the entire box, and I believe these are them. So, <laughs> yeah, so this box was definitely, definitely worth it. Um, and that brings us to the end. Now, I believe, I believe this whole box, yes, this box was, I got the thing right here. This box was seven pairs of shoes, so one, two, three, yep, seven pairs. Um, they were size 10, so everything was size 10 in this box. Um, yep. That's really all, that's really all that says. Uh, yeah, they go. It does have, uh, it does have uh, my wife's personal email address on there which I don't want to show to the world um, she will she will kill me um, I am I'm really happy about this this haul um, you know the Tory Burches when I saw when I opened up the box and saw those in there I thought those were gonna be the the shoes that um, I, I well I was surprised that um, those shoes were not the uh, best ones in the haul because those are, I know that those are really good, but those boots are just perfect, perfect for this time of year, very high quality. Um, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited to get all these up. And th those rag and bones, I didn't know that was a, sh I didn't know they made shoes. I thought they were only jeans. Um, and I've never seen any of their jeans. I've never seen a pair of Breaking Bones in my life. So um, <laughs> there's a lot. It's just there's just a lot in here to be excited about. So um, with that, um, if you liked any of these shoes, um, I believe they're all currently being listed. So um, they should already be up. If they're if they're not, they'll be up probably tonight. Um, so before this video even goes up. Um, and you can find those shoes on on our closet in Poshmark. Um, the link will be in the description below. Um, I told you I would say that again. Um, there'll also be a link to our email where you can send any questions, comments. Um, if you want to purchase any of these shoes um, and they're not up for some reason, feel free to drop us a drop us an email. Um, as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like this video, subscribe and hit the bell. That's how I get notifications whenever I have a new video come out. Um, I am going to start trying to do them on a regular schedule. I'm feeling like a Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, so if I'm calculating it out right, this should go up on a Tuesday. Um, but if it doesn't, it'll be on a Thursday. Um, I have to do some math in my head. Um, I don't remember how many videos I have already ready to go. I can't remember if it's one or two. So it's not like I'm dealing with big numbers here. Uh, but until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you later. Hey, thanks for sticking out through the credits. Um, you probably... Hey, thanks for sticking around through the credits. Um, if you're here, I assume you know what to do. Um, just click on the box and that'll take you to a, uh, another video. Um, right.